Today's paper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun all over the world. Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. Today's episode, Bowl Weevil Retrieval. <laughs> Gum shoes. Carmen San Diego's crew of Craven Cretans has struck again. This time, it was a case of Weevil Evil in Enterprise, Alabama. This is a Bowl Weevil, an insect that damages cotton by laying eggs in the young bud of a plant. A horde of these critters can destroy many acres of cotton. The last thing you'd build a monument to, right? wrong. This boll weevil monument was erected in Enterprise in 1919. Now, here's the story. Alabama used to have a one-crop economy, and that crop was cotton. But in the early 1900s, the boll weevils got busy. For two years in a row, these hungry little critters ate huge portions of the cotton crop in Coffee County, Alabama, before it could be picked. Did the farmers give up hope? Nope. They started raising other things like livestock and peanuts. The state developed a diverse and healthier economy and wound up more prosperous than it was when they relied on just one crop. And Enterprisians thought it would be nice to thank those esteemed boll weevils for their help. But the insect-inspired statue has been stolen. Nimoy, Carmen's cosmological con artist, beamed into Enterprise, beamed up the monument, and whisked it away. Your mission, Gumshoes, neutralize Nimoy. We turn the weevil to Enterprise and then capture Carmen San Diego. The treasure's been caught and the cook must be stopped. Carmen San Diego. <laughs> and one of these people could find her. <laughs> Janelle Nixon. <laughs> Joe Feldman. <laughs> Jacqueline Solomon! And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Craig Lee! Hi. Thank you. Very nice. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, guys. How are you? Very good. You've heard about the case. We're going to start you off now with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. And as always, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you. Chief, let's go. Greg, Nimoy has stolen the Bull Weevil statue, and there's no time to lose. Here's the rap sheet on Nimoy. Moy, 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 She's a wanted criminal in seven galaxies and nine dimensions. And here's what we know so far. Gumshoes, Acme Weevil Net has tracked Nimoy to a major East Coast U.S. city that was completely planned by the French engineer Pierre L'Enfant and the African-American surveyor Benjamin Banneker. Today, many of its citizens are African-American, but you'll also find Vietnamese, Lebanese, Thai, Ethiopian, and other ethnic nationalities. Now, no matter what language you speak, it's probably spoken there. Nimoy might even run into someone who speaks her language, Roddenberryan. Greg. Chief, thanks a lot. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it New York, Baltimore, or Washington, D.C.? Remember the clues we heard? Pierre L'Enfant and Benjamin Banneker and people of many ethnic backgrounds. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find Nimoy and the Bull Weevil Monument. Chanel's ready, so is Joe, and so is Jacqueline. Chanel, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said New York. New York. Joe, what do you think? I said New York. New York. Jacqueline? I said New York. New York. The answer we're looking for is Washington, D.C. Ooh, sorry about that, guys, but it gives us some time now. We'll find out about you. Chanel, tell me about yourself, will you? Okay. My name is Chanel Nixon. I like to collect, um, collect stuff.
stuffed animals, yeah. and I like to talk on the phone with my friends. Very good. Nice to have you here. Joe, tell me about you. Hi, my name is Joe Feldman, and I like to dance throughout my friends and play volleyball. Very good. Jacqueline, how about you? My name is Jacqueline Feldman, and I like playing soccer and going shopping. Very good. Nice to have you guys on the case. Please welcome them all to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we had a tough break with that first one. Everybody saves the 50 crime bucks, but now for our next clue, we turn to an informant from Acme Beaknet. Take a look. Gumshoes, head for Toucan Territory. Nimoy's in Salvador, the capital of the state of Bahia, watching a capoeira exhibition. That's the martial art of foot fighting done to music. It was brought here by African slaves during the 15th century. They weren't allowed to fight, so they disguised capoeira as dance. Some Bahians tried to teach capoeira to Nimoy, but they couldn't find any part of her that looked like feet. <laughs> okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Colombia, Brazil, or Argentina? Remember the clues that we heard? Toucans, Salvador, the state capital of Bahia, and martial art called capoeira. Okay, come up with an answer as close as you can, please. Chanel's ready, so is Joe, and Jacqueline is too. Chanel, what do you think? I said Colombia. Colombia, Joe, what do you think? I said Brazil. Brazil, Jacqueline? I said Argentina. Argentina, the answer we're looking for is Brazil. Nice job, Joe. Okay, so that means Chanel and Jacqueline, you stay at 50. Joe, now you move into the lead with 60 Acme Crime Books. Nice job. Now, for... Well, that sound means one thing. It's time for us to now check in to the Roach Motel. Come on, let's take a look. Ah. Hey, Coco, what's up? Oh, Greg, hi. Hey, gumshoes. Nimoy's in a European city where I once spent my vacation. Here, I took a few pictures. <laughs> First stop, the Champs-Élysées, the city's most famous avenue, elegant shopping, the Arc de Triomphe, and excellent croissant crumbs. Next, the Louvre, one of the world's largest museums and home to many famous works of art. Yeah, that Mona Lisa oil painting made for some pretty good eating. <laughs> ah, next, La Tour d'Argent, one of France's most famous restaurants. It overlooks the Seine and Notre Dame Cathedral. But with food that good, I wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, and here I am, almost meeting Mitterrand. Is this any way to treat a tourist, I ask you? No, no. it's ridiculous. No. Roaches, Kafka, thank you. Okay, thank you, Kafka. Thank you. Th thank you. You know, maybe for next season, we ought to think about getting a grasshopper. They're not nearly so testy. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Paris? Lyon or Brussels? Remember the clues that we heard? Champs Elysees, Louvre, and uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, please. Joe's ready, so is Jacqueline, and Chanel is ready. What do you think, Chanel? I said Brussels. Brussels. Joe, how about you? I said Brussels. Brussels. Jacqueline? I said Paris. Paris. The answer we're looking for is Paris. Nice job, Jacqueline. Okay, so Chanel, you're still at 50. Joe goes up to 60, and Jacqueline goes up to 60. Crime bucks. Nice. Okay, you guys know what that means. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions have to do with uh, Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, which is Paris. Each correct answer is worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Before the Louvre became a museum, it served many other purposes, but it was never a royal residence, a soccer stadium, or Joe. Soccer stadium? That's right. It was never a soccer stadium. Nice job. Five for you. Takes up the 65 crime bucks. Question number two. There are many flying buttresses in Paris Notre Dame Cathedral. Is a flying buttress a trapeze artist, a bat, or a structure that keeps the church Chanel? A bat. What's that? A bat. Sorry, it's not a bat. Jacqueline. A trapeze artist? It's not a trapeze artist. I'll finish out the uh, possibilities. Is, is a flying buttress a trapeze artist, a bat, or a structure that keeps the church from falling down? Joe? Keeps the church from falling down. That's right. Nice job. Bye for you. Good strategy. Takes up the 70 crime bucks. Here's the third question. The Tour de France is an, is over two, is an over 2,000 mile race around the country. What kind of race is it? Jacqueline. A uh, bicycle race. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. So that means at the end of that round, Chanel, you're still at 50. Joseph goes up to 70. Jacqueline, 65 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Anybody could still Greg, get this. come into my office. Yeah, Chief. I'll be right there. You guys stay here. I'm going to 